Okay, so in this video, I'm going to go over how to fix class.cfg not present, not executing errors, particle system, or just a lot of red text errors, and invisible player problems. I'll add timestamps in the description so you can skip to which problem uh, you just want to get to. And I'm going to start off with class.cfg errors. Uh, I'm going to give you an example, and then I'm going to show you how to fix it, and then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. So here we go. Okay, so this is what class.cfg not present dot executing looks like. So this is me in an empty server just playing a scout. And whenever I open the console, it will show that this right here. Scout.cfg not present. Then I switch to soldier and pyro, demo man, heavy, engineer, medic, sniper, and spy. And with all of them, once I switch class, because you can see uh, it does this thing where it just says pyro.cfg not present soldier I do it again uh, and this doesn't happen this happens whenever you change a class and it can happen at random and it will make your game stutter and you can lag and it can also be activated by lag and make the lag last longer so the way you fix this is first you need to open file explorer Then go to this PC, Windows, Program Files 86, then go down to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, TF, and then CFG. And before you do anything in here, you need to click on View, and then activate File Name Extensions. And as you can see, it changed the back, so now the .cfg and .txt is being shown. And now what you want to do is you want to make a new text document and name it all the classes. And I'll put these classes in the description on how to name them, because like heavy, it's not just heavy, you have to put heavy weapons guy. So for example, you put scout and then put cfg at the back of that, scout cfg yes and now it's a note document wherever it is wherever it just went where to go uh there it is scout.cfg and you do this with all the classes i'll probably fast forward this so scout soldier.cfg well nope where to go you do not want it to be a .txt you want it to be .cfg that's very important And finally, spy.cfg. And so now you just restart your game and it should be fixed. And I will give an example right now about what that looks like afterwards. Okay, so I joined right back into the game and I'm gonna look at the console, I'm gonna change classes. So right here you'll see I'm gonna change class. So change to, seconds. let's see, nothing, change to soldier, there we go, change to pyro, right there, change here, this is just because I recorded a demo, this doesn't mean anything, change to heavy, nothing, engineer, medic, sniper, and spy nothing happened because now it's fixed so that's how you fix it and it's important to note that you do not have to add anything into those .cfg files you can leave those empty and now I'm gonna tell you how to fix particle system errors um, I found images of it online I already fixed it and I don't know how to unfix it which is good but I'll show pictures of the online errors that I found, and that's what it should look like. And there's two ways to fix it. You can either verify the integrity of your game files, or you can add this text into the lock 
uh, launch options, which is what I did, and that uh, that I thought fixed it better than verifying did. And I'll show you both of them and how to do it. Okay, so the way you fix this problem is you need to open Steam, and you need to go to your library, games, right-click on Team Fortress 2, and then open properties. Once you're here, there's two things that you can do. You can either go to localization files and click on verify integrity of game files. Uh, personally, that didn't work for me. Or you can go to general, set launch options, then put this in. I'll put this into the description to copy and paste, but to read it out loud, it's a dash force underscore vendor underscore ID space 0x10 capitalized DE space dash force underscore device underscore i then once you have that you can press ok and close uh once you re do once you turn on the game uh the resolution may be a little wonky uh, and it may turn on your motion blur uh but you can fix both of those easily uh, and that's it that's how you fix that okay so now we're on the last part which is the invisible players glitch so what this is is i'll give you an example so let's say you're on two fort and you start catching on fire and you die by a pyro and whenever the death screen comes on it shows an invisible player somewhere on the map and you couldn't have ever seen him and she's just completely invisible and it doesn't have to be spy it can be any class uh and the easiest way to fix this is to bind record one and stop to a key on your keyboard so for example i'll put bind oh, bind and then uh, let's say this and then put record it doesn't have to be one but i'm just going to put record one it could be anything so it could be record but it could be record boot but i'm just going to put record one space and this space stop and then i'll put this into the description uh where you can put it as whatever you want and once that's done once you put this, it'll record one stop. And uh, you can't do this in the middle of battle because it'll for, it makes your game kind of stutter for a second, and then you're back. But you'll be, everyone won't be invisible anymore. You can see everybody. Um, and that's the last one. That's all the bugs and all their fixes. Everything you need to copy and paste it in the description. And there's a Steam guide online if you didn't like this video. But if any of your problems were solved, make sure to like and share this video so other people with any of these problems can have them fixed. Well, that's all. See ya.